Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you could take a second, can you please slam that subscribe button? I'd really appreciate it. Again, thanks a lot for stopping by. It's the last day of October. It's Halloween here in, in Ottawa, Canada. Sitting here having a great Timmy's. It's not a bad morning. It's wet out, but it's warm. It's nice. But it's going to get start getting cold around here in Ottawa. So I have to get ready. These videos are going to look awful white behind me in another month or so. You know, have you ever got up, got up in the morning and you feel pretty great? You know, you're driving to work or, you know, you're just carrying on with your life at any other day of your life. And all of a sudden, you start thinking about things. And those thoughts usually, you know, contain ourselves, like we're thinking about ourselves all the time. Have you ever, have you ever done that? And that's what this video is about. I want to bring awareness to how much we think about ourselves. We need to stop thinking about ourselves to so much. We need to start talking to ourselves in a positive way. Like we can do it. Yeah, it's tough, but I'm gonna make it today. I don't like my job, but I'm gonna get a better job. We need to start talking to ourselves more in a positive, loving and caring way and stop listening to ourselves like we're going down to the hood between the ears. Like I don't know about you, but when I think about myself a lot, I don't like that neighborhood. I really don't. So stop listening to yourself so much when it comes to negativity in your life, things that you cannot do, your recovery is hard, I'm gonna give up, I'm gonna go for a relapse, I'm gonna go drink, I'm never gonna get back with my wife, I'll never find a girlfriend, I'll never get a great job, I'll never buy a car. That catastrophic thinking that alcoholics do. And it's just not alcoholics, it's everybody. But alcoholics let their mind run riot. They, it goes crazy for alcoholics, we have it in the extreme. Thoughts are just words. We can change the words that we are thinking and start talking to, to yourself in a more positive, productive way and things will change. Our thoughts do not have to control us. Some of the things that I do that help me stay mentally healthy. I pray and meditate sometimes. I, well, I pray more than I meditate. I talk to people in the program. I go to the gym. I stop my thoughts and I soothe myself with my own thinking. Like, things aren't gonna turn out, Terry. No, when I go to that family gathering, it's gonna be horrible because there's a lot of issues with my family. I start saying to myself, it's gonna turn out great. Things are gonna be fine. Everybody's doing the best they can. I start changing the words. I stop focusing on myself. I can get up in the morning, go to work on the bus. You know, we spend a lot of free time. I mean, not a lot of free time driving the bus. There's a lot of time to think about me, myself. I can take myself mentally to the most negative, saddest, depressed, overwhelming place on the bus. And before you know it, I'm talking to myself on the bus thinking, no, son of a bitches, I'll get them. I wish I could go back and change things because I'd show them. Like, that's what I do to myself sometimes. And I got a lot of sobriety. I have a lot of sobriety. But the thing is, nowadays, I'm more aware of it. I'm more aware of what I'm doing to myself. And I can control the way I think. Remember that a lot of our problems generate from our mind. The way we feel, the way we behave, the triggers are mental first. They really really are. So if we learn to go easy on ourselves, give ourselves the benefit of the doubt, learn that things take time in sobriety and we have to be patient. But most of all, stop listening to those negative thoughts. Stop it. It drives you nuts. I know it drives me nuts and it can take a hold of me in a second. I have to be aware of it. People call it the critic. I have to be aware of the critic or that little tiny voice in the back of my head. We all have it. Alcoholics, it's a little louder. Some days it's screaming at us. But talk to yourself like you're your best friend and give yourself the benefit of your doubt, okay? So that's what the name of this video is. L stop listening to yourself and start talking to yourself more. You will get more out of it. It takes time. It takes practice, it really does. But in the, in the final analysis of it all, it's really up to us. It really is. We know the way we tick. We're honest, if we're honest with ourselves, we know what we need. And we just have to get off our duff and get out there and do it. And when it comes to us mentally, 
spiritually and emotionally, we need to look after ourselves in those areas too. So don't let your mind run rampant and don't, don't do that anymore. Talk to yourself like you're your best bud, okay? And you'll see the change. Your self-worth will go up, you'll be happier, you'll have less stress in your life, you'll be more outgoing. There's a lot of positive things that happen to you when you stop pounding on yourself, when you are your worst enemy in this damn messed up world of ours, okay? I don't like to call it that, but it is kind of messed up sometimes, isn't it? Okay, my name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. I wanna thank you very much for stopping by. This is my new GoPro. I bought a new GoPro because my other one just stopped. And I only had it for about two years and it just stopped on me. So I bought a new one anyways. It's a GoPro 10 and I'm just trying it out today. It's a little bigger, it's, it's not too bad. That's not too bad. I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, so if you got a second, please subscribe to my channel. But can you all hit the, the like button? I'd really appreciate it. So ciao for now, I'll see you next week. Remember, we're all in this together. We really are. And God bless, stay safe, stay sober, and I'll see you next week. Ciao for now. Thanks, bye.